Hi, and welcome to the latest episode of My Life with Android. This is the review of the app Evernote Sketch. Communicate your ideas in seconds by marking up photos with simple arrow shapes and texts. So let's have a look. Let's get started. Annotate BDFs with Skitch. Select Skitch on the share menu in any app or choose a PDF. So let's go with choose a picture from gallery. Let's go with green. Guy I drew on one of my art tutorials. There we go, it's loaded. Save to Evernote, move and pen, select move and pan the image. Tools, tools for annotating, hold to lock, tap anywhere to dismiss. Okay, so we're in it. And this we've got this, we've got the share, we've got the move feature, move and pan. With the tool selected, use one finger to move and pinch to zoom. Okay. Cool. So you can point out little bits that you want. If we click on that, should be for writing. Yep, you can write down there for it as well. Call it my little nasty bastard for now. Move that to down there. And we've got a little block here. Change the colour. And there you go. That's your type text colour. And that's your size for your text as well. So that's does the size of your text and that does the color of your text that is the text button this is the arrow button also highlight or rub out by the looks of it so it was a highlighter oh and you can also pixelate things as well like faces if you wanted to and things like that that's quite cool I like that feature draw lines that's a free pen isn't it <coughs> yes that's quite cool this is actually quite a cool little function nice And it just adds on the more you draw. That's cool. So you can keep it going on for ages if you wanted to. And just keep on filling it up. How far can you make it go? Let's have a look. Okay, that's as far as you can zoom out, which isn't too bad actually, because that picture's not small. Select a stamp to add or remove a pointer and add or remove a label. Okay. Yep. Use two fingers to reposition the pointer of a stamp. Let's click that. There we go. There we are. You hold it. It's 
So yeah, it's like you, each bit is on different layers. Not yeah, it's just it is literally just stamps. This this would be quite good for anyone who's putting a collage together of their work and they want to share it or it's quite good for if you're doing a presentation you need to get uh, paper ready for an assignment to do with college school or work or anything like that this would be um, a pretty good simple free app to use available from the play store and then up here let's just have a look at the menu we've got crop Erase markup, rotate right, rotate left, save to gallery, and tips. And up here, we've got the share button. See all. So you've got crew play, Picasa, Bluetooth, Dropbox, Hangouts, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, chat on, uh, Messenger, Blogger, which is good. I like Blogger being on there. Tumblr and Gmail. And you can also send it by LAN, so you can send it by the internet, by your local internet, that is. And yeah, that is the entire app, and up on the top corner, just here, we've got the save and undo buttons. But that is the entire app, so if you're putting a collage together, or an assignment, or a piece of paper for work, pie chart, or things like that, or you you want to grab something from the map from Google Maps to write it in then you can we'll just have a quick see if uh, you can just go straight onto a new one no I don't think you can just go straight to a new one so and I don't want to save it just hit save Skitch works with the Evernote for Android application to keep your Skitch documents on your Android and other devices. Okay, I haven't actually sorted out Evernote yet. I do have it on here to review, but I have not looked at it yet. Um, but let's have a look at the other ones of these, shall we? So, <clears throat> if we go out of here. Just remove all, go back on, and it's a fresh one. So, click draw on map. Ah, here we go. And it brings up your local area. And you can zoom in or zoom far away as you like. Works in conjunction with Google Maps by the looks of it. Yep, Google Maps. Says it just down here. Google. Have you gone? Where have you gone? There we go. We can add more pins. So if you need to give someone a good quick location to where you are. Then you can print up your map and just put little way markers for them to say this is how you get to me. And then obviously, um, yeah, you can save it and then send it as a tweet or on your blog or via email through the normal means that you would. And you can even change the address. which is nice you need to know a specific address but you can still zoom really far out actually I'm quite surprised how what how quick the response time for it is that is not bad at all so that's quite good if you need to let someone know where you are or how to get to you um, let's go back, capture from web, let's have a look at this, enter the URL of the website you want to capture or search by keywords then tap go, okay, 
So, hmm. So that one's full of quite. Ah, it uses Google search as well. Let's see how it captures. Let's not do this because obviously I don't want to log into something whilst it's recording. So, do, 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 do. Oh, can you save them? No. Let's go with. Or. Go search for that. Come on. There we go. It woke up. I do need to uh, rearrange quite a lot of this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right. Just going to see how it works because there's no real way of saying how you can capture it. I know you do. Also, you've got your screen capture here, but I'm not sure if that's how you do it. Oh no, hang on, it's up at the top, you fool. You fool! So just hit snap. Red page ready for my markup, and there we go. So you can take a screenshot of whatever page you want and then ooh, supposed to do that the other way around. Like that. Whee! Um, yeah. So basically, if you're doing any sort of presentation, map-wise, from the internet, pie chart, something you've drawn, something you've imported, something someone else has done, and you're highlighting bits, you're showing bits, and you're making um, frames or stills, then, or even doing a collage or a blog-type print, then this is definitely a good app. This is definitely one I'll be keeping um, yeah, it's a good 4.5 out of 5, I reckon. It's a really good spot-on app that is easy to understand because it's the first time I've used it and easy to use with the interface and the, the um, output it gives to you about the program. So thank you very much for watching my tutorial on Skitch. Available on the Play Store. The tutorial was done on the Samsung Note 10.1. I hope you've enjoyed it. As usual, please share and subscribe. And I will catch you guys later.